page 176 who will be ningtho a king is called a ningtho and a queen is called a leima in manipuri this is a story from manipur about what qualities make a good ruler read and enjoy long long ago in the land of kanglai park in manipur there lived a ningtho and a leima they were loved dearly by the people the ningtho and leima on their part never stopped thinking about their meyam their people our meyam should be happy they said the people were not the only ones who loved their ningtho and leima the birds and animals too loved them the ningtho and leima always said everybody in kanglai park should live in peace not only the people but the birds animals and trees their beloved king and queen had three sons sana jauba sana yaima and sana tomba 12 years later a daughter was born she was named sana tombi she was a lovely child soft and beautiful inside she was loved by one and all the years went by and the children grew up well and then one day the ningtho called all his ministers and said it is now time to decide the tungi ningtho the future king page 177 the ministers were shocked but o oh, ningtho what is there to decide sana jauba your eldest son will be our future king well the ningtho replied that's how it happened in the old days the eldest son always became the king but times have changed so let us select a king who is most worthy of becoming a king we will have a contest to select the future king the lema said and so in the land of kanglai park there was a contest a horse race whoever reached the kongnang the banyan tree first would be declared tungi ningtho but then a strange thing happened sana jauba sana yaima and sana tomba all three of them finished the race together they were expert riders and all three reached the finish line at the same time there was great excitement look at them the people shouted shagol thopa nyuba such fine horsemen but one question remained who would be the tungi ningtho the ningtho and leima turned to their sons the ningtho said sana jauba sana yaima and sana tomba you have proved that you are fine horsemen page 178 do something different each one of you so that we can decide who will be tungi ningtho suddenly sana jauba mounted his horse and held his spear straight in front of him he looked around there was a harsh among people what is sana jauba the eldest going to do they thought to themselves sana jauba then looked at the huge kongnang standing majestically in the distance he pierced the tree and jumped his horse right through it bravo bravo the people shouted tauro tauro and then they fell silent now it was the turn of the second son sana yaima what would he do sana yaima too looked at the kongnang as he mounted his horse then he too rode towards the tree 
harder and harder. The people watched in silence, afraid even to breathe. When he was really close, he urged his horse to jump. Higher and higher the horse rose until horse and rider jumped clear over the huge tree and landed on the other side in a wonderful motion. The people breathed in relief and said in unison, Paje! Paje! Wonderful! Wonderful! And now it was the turn of the youngest son, Sanatomba. He too rode his horse towards the Kongnang and, before anybody knew what was happening, uprooted it. Triumphantly he carried the tree to the Ningtha and Leima and laid it at their feet. Shouts of Thoro, Thoro, Paje, Paje filled the mountains. The people grew restless. Why were the Ningtha and the Leima taking so long to make the announcement? Page 179 they craned their necks to see what was happening. The Ningtha and Leima were watching Sanatombi, their five-year-old daughter. She looked sad and lonely. She stared at the Kongnang, which lay dead by the throne. Birds flapped worriedly around, searching for their homes in the tree. Sanatombi walked up to the Kongnang and whispered, The Kongnang is dead. It was hurt by the spear. And now it is dead. The people were all attention. The Ningtha stood up. He looked at the three boys. He looked at the little girl. He turned to the people. If anybody is worthy of becoming the ruler, he said, it is little Sanatombi. It was she who told us to look at the soul of the Kongnang. Page 180 Sanatombi feels the pain of others. She feels the pain of the people, the animals, the birds. The trees. I declare Sanatombi the future Leima of Kanglai Park, the Ningtha said. A silence fell. Everyone turned to look at the little girl, their future queen. There she stood, all of five, like a small Kongnang, with birds flying all around her. They sat on her shoulders and on her head. She held out her hands full of grain and the birds flapped about her, pecking at the food. Alayma is one who doesn't hurt anybody in the kingdom. Story by Indira Mukherjee Page 181 New Words Peace Quiet, worthy, deserving of, contest, competition, spear, hunter's weapon, triumphantly, victoriously. Reading is fun. 1. Name the place in Manipur where the Nintha and Leima ruled. 2. Why did the people of Kanglai Park loved their king and queen. 3. Why did the Ningtha want to choose a future king? 4. How did the king want to select their future king? 5. What kind of child was Sanatombi? 6. Have you ever seen an animal or a bird in pain? What did you do? Let's listen and talk. 1. Where is Manipur on the map of India? 2. What language do the people of Manipur speak? 
1. Assamese 2. Maithailon 3. Miso Page 182 3. Who do you think should have been made the future king? Sana Jauba, the one who jumped through the tree? Sana Yaima. Sana Jauba, the one who jumped through the tree? Sana Yaima, the one who jumped over the tree? Sana Tomba, the one who uprooted the tree? Why do you think so? Who was made the future queen and why? Word building 1. Say aloud the following names in your mother tongue. In Manipuri, Ningtho, Leima, Miyam, Kongnang. 2. Write the meanings of the following in English. Tungi Ningtho, blank. Thauro, Thauro, blank. Pajay, Pajay, blank. Shagol Tauba Nupa Blank Page 183 Fun with sound words Some interesting words sound like the noises for which they stand. You use a different tone of voice when you say these words. The voice becomes louder and more forceful. For example, Zoom when the car Bang! When the door. Pip, pop, flippity, flop. Pip, pop, flippity, flop. Say the following and write what would make these sounds or actions. Click. Blank. Chirp. Blank. Whisper. Blank. Bravo. Blank. Oh. Blank. Ah. Blank. Hurrah! Blank. Alas! Blank. Wonderful! Blank. Hi! Blank. Ho! Blank. Hop away! Blank. Language use. 1. Read the lesson carefully and put a circle around all the action words with ed at the end. Then write them in one column and their present form in another. One is done for you. Page 184 Action words with ED at the end. Admitted Action words in present form. Admit Blank Blank 2. Fill in the correct word in the blanks and complete the story. In a forest, there blank live, lives, lived a goblin named Cruel. One day he blank meet, met, meets an old man wandering in the forest. Immediately, Cruel blank leap, leaps, leapt onto the old man's shoulders and blank. Order, orders, ordered him. Let's go, move fast. The frightened old man, blank, obey, obeys, obeyed, the nasty goblin and blank, walk, walks, walked on. As they blank on, move, moves, moved, he blank. Notice, notices, noticed that the goblin's feet were very tender. The old man, blank, ask, asks, asked, cruel. Sir, how are your feet so soft and tender? Cruel, blank, reply, replies, replied. I have taken a vow that I will not touch the ground with my feet till I wash them. They soon blank, come, comes, came to a pool. The goblin blank, 
instruct, instructs, instructed the old man to wait for him while he blank enter enters entered the pool. The old man blank think thinks thought to himself now that the goblin has wet his feet he does not need me let me run for my life or he will surely eat me up page 185 so he blank run runs ran off 3 make a list of the action words from this story ed action words live lived blank blank irregular action words meet met blank blank project work 1 sit in groups of 5 now each student will tell a story decide which story was the best and declare a ningtha or leima of the group 2 Find out stories about other great people's lives and their childhood and write these in your notebook. Collect at least two such stories and share them with your friends. You could think of famous scientists, religious people, freedom fighters, brave children, astronauts, artists.